Good evening. This is ITV News London. I'm Sally Bidolf. Harrow Council is expected to scrap its controversial low-traffic neighbourhoods after a review concluded the planter boxes and cycle lanes cause traffic jams and delay emergency services. A public consultation also found residents were overwhelmingly against the scheme too. Anna Geary reports. Delayed emergency services stuck in roadblocks like this one in Lambeth. A problem we've seen repeatedly in London in the past 12 months with an increase in low traffic neighbourhoods. But Harrow Council wants to make scenes like this a thing of the past. It's expected to become the first in the country to permanently remove all of its green road schemes after a review revealed major opposition. There are countless residents whose journeys have been elongated. There are many residents who are unable to have carers or close family members attend. There are many people whose journeys to travel to pick up their children. Businesses, local businesses have been directly seeing their custom completely plummet. It's impacted every pocket of the community in the borough of Harrow and almost always in an adverse way. In a consultation attracting more than 7,000 responses, 93% of residents and workers affected by the Honeypot Lane cycle path in Queensbury called for it to be removed. 83% were against the Sheepcot Road scheme and 87% wanted to ditch the Uxbridge Road cycle lane. This scheme saw one councillor in the borough overwhelmed with complaints. He claims on average 75 cyclists use it per day, compared to 17,000 cars. It's not about being pro or anti-cycling, it's about good, good or bad schemes. I think everybody is very happy to see well-designed, um, well-supported, well-consulted, um, good local cycling schemes, but this, this, isn't, this is not it. We contacted Harrow Council as the final decision rests with the Cabinet. It's thought members will scrap low traffic neighbourhoods and cycle lanes in a meeting at the end of the month. Anna Geary, ITV News. A 20-year-old man has been arrested on suspicion of causing grievous bodily harm after a police officer was injured in a collision with a car in Islington yesterday. The officer was standing next to a police vehicle at the time of the crash and suffered injuries to his legs. There are some signs of normality returning today with football fans back at Wembley this evening. 4,000 fans are there now to watch Leicester City play Southampton in the FA Cup semi-final. Each had to show proof of a negative test result and test again afterwards as part of a pilot scheme by the government. Tickets were restricted to key workers and residents of Brent, so most adopted a new team to support for the game. And speaking of sport, let's take a look now at what the London teams have been up to. Keeping up to date. Hi. Hi, hi. Proud sponsors of ITV Regional Sports Report. Chelsea are through to the FA Cup final after beating Man City 1-0 yesterday in what was another big success for coach Thomas Tuchel. The only goal was scored in the second half by Hakim Ziyech. And now to the Premier League where Arsenal and Fulham played this afternoon. And it looked like Fulham had won it after a second half penalty by Josh Madger. But a last gasp equaliser from Eddie Nketia managed to save the Gunners in the 97th minute of stoppage time. Final score? One all. Just a reminder now about a special programme here on ITV News London next Thursday. Charlene has the details. It may well be 12 months later than planned, but London, the time has come for you to decide who will be your next mayor. So we'll have all of the main four candidates lined up and I'll be asking them questions about things like housing, crime, transport and so much more. So join us Thursday, the 22nd of April from six o'clock. Now it's been a glorious spring day out there. Let's see what the rest of the week has in store. Here's Helen with the weather. Great Western Railway sponsors the ITV London Weekend Weather. Hello again, a very good evening to you. 
Well, really feeling some warmth in that April sunshine this weekend and a very similar story. In fact, if anything, a little warmer to start the new week. Things staying mostly dry and settled out there too. Still the room for some chilly nights though, but high pressure only very slowly tracking its way off the scene. So giving way, yes, to these frontal systems from the west, but losing a lot of momentum and really very slowly heading towards us. So it's only the middle of the week really when we're looking at some thicker cloud. One or two showers can't be ruled out, but with high pressure then building yet again, flushing this out, bringing some more brightness, although a fresher feel to the second half of proceedings. Out there this evening and overnight then, again, any residual cloud from today quickly burning away. So clearance overhead, that does mean those chilly temperatures make inroads and actually one or two pockets of fog can't be ruled out, especially to eastern areas as we approach dawn. So a little frost possible, but again, similar to today, it's only really the early birds who will notice that because very quickly that sunshine gets up, gets to work and brings us yet another dry, fine day. A little extra cloud into the afternoon, yes, but this time temperatures look up to around 18 degrees. Bye-bye. Great Western Railway sponsors the ITV London Weekend Weather. Well, that's all from the London team for now. I'll be back with you from 6 o'clock tomorrow on Good Morning Britain. Until then, have a very good evening. Bye-bye.